Hello everyone, back in today's third video, we're going to have a look at the ECWF, Metro France and DWD long range season models for the next few months uh, with uh, today's third video. This is going to take us through the spring and into the early part and middle part of the summer. So we're at the Copernicus website uh, for this. We've got the link to Copernicus on the links page at Gazovitz and uh, in the description at YouTube. Have a look at the charts yourself if you would like to do that. It's rather hard to navigate though um, the, web the website. So I'm, I'll take you through the charts anyway so you don't really need to go over there and have a look at the charts. But if you want to, the link is uh, provided. Just to say, this is the third video up this Sunday. So well, we started off with some more spring analogues. And those spring, spring analogues will be placed on the spring updates and forecast page uh, with a written um, summary going over everything we discuss in video later on uh, this evening. Uh, also, Gazda will be silly roundup, as of course, as, all, as always on a Sunday. Um, we've got the uh, uh, Sunday roundup for you. Uh, both videos at the moment are on the homepage. There may be an ensembles watch this evening. I'm not sure if I'll have time to fit it in, but uh, just watch your space. There might be ensembles watch this evening. Right, so we're going to start off by having a look at Metro France. So we're going to start off with mean sea level pressure anomalies from Metro France. And then we will have a look at the ECWF and we'll finish off with uh, the DWD. So this is how the mean sea level pressure anomaly is looking for the spring of... Uh, of 2019, uh, March, April, May, tri-monthly period. We find we've got an area of above average heights over Scandinavia and back into eastern parts of Europe. Otherwise, not a lot else um, going on. You'd expect us to be bringing up a fairly warmish, sort of southerly, southeasterly uh, type wind there through the course of the spring. Uh, that's how the next tri-monthly period is looking. This is uh, April, May, June 2019. And uh, this time we've lost those areas, areas of above average heights to our northeast. We have got a very weak ridge in the middle of the Atlantic. Otherwise, there's not, not, not a lot else going on. We might be starting to reintroduce a little bit of a westerly uh, flow. But the signals are very, very weak there with uh, Metro France. Uh, mean sea level pressure anomalies. And then we go through to the final mean sea level pressure anomaly for May, June, July. So we're just short of the full uh, summer uh, MSLP at the moment. Uh, and again, not a lot to work on, really. We've got below average uh, pressure. Low pressure is up towards Greenland. Uh, you will think the jet stream is possibly up there as well. There's no real ridge anywhere. So it's very hard to decide what's happening there. And that is often the case with long range uh, model outputs for the summer. Summer signals are always much weaker compared to sort of autumn, winter and even spring uh, signals in a lot of ways. It makes summer the most challenging uh, of the four seasons to forecast for in a lot of ways because the signals always tend to be quite a bit weaker. Overall, there's nothing to be overly alarmed about, though, there, I don't think, as we're going into uh, the summer from a pressure uh, point of view anyway. Uh, so this is how the temperature anomaly is looking uh, from Metro France for the spring. This is uh, for the time of period of March, April, May. Uh, May. By the way, the... Um the, third, the final uh, spring season model roundup is going to be with you on Saturday. This coming Saturday uh, will be the um, will be the final uh, uh, spring 2019 season model roundup. Uh, the day after that will be the final analogs update for the spring, and then the spring forecast itself is actually pushed back to the third of March, to Sunday, the third of March. That's due to uh, being very late, of course, with the spring updates this year so we thought we'd be able to just push it back a little bit into the opening days of march so that's what we've done uh done there coming back to this video then and uh this is how temperature anomalies are looking for the spring so a very mild spring warm spring coming up across most parts of the europe and northern europe significantly uh, milder than average most central parts of europe milder than average as well the uk and ireland actually not as warm as many many parts of europe but even so we're still above average by around half a degree uh, or so and move through to the April, May, June uh, 
temperature anomaly, and we find that uh, again the temperature and it's very late when I'm recording this, this video, and I've had a long day, so um, I'm uh, I'm a bit tired while I'm doing this, but I, I want to get this done and out of the way. So just bear with me, we will uh, we will get there. So uh, temperature anomaly is for April, May, June 2019, coming out generally a little bit uh, above average again for most parts of uh, Europe, and then finally we're through to uh, May, June, July. Very warm signals here, and we saw this on the CFS six at Lockhead Jesse. Possibly a hot summer coming up for northern parts of Europe if this long if these long range model outputs are correct. Very warm summer being signaled there. Temperatures uh, for many northern parts of Europe around uh, a degree, maybe more above average so uh metro france going for quite a warm summer uh, precipitation anomalies uh for march april may looking like that very weak signals again uh so not enough there to really be able to go on to be honest it just looks very close to average or potentially no signal really the model does not have a signal uh with precipitation for this spring April, May, June is looking like that. Again, very weak signals. We do see that uh, Scandinavia coming out a little bit wetter than average up there. Uh, it's a little bit drier than average down to uh, the southwest of us, uh, to the west of Portugal. So it implies a ridge of high pressure sitting close to Spain and Portugal, perhaps. Um, but otherwise, there's not a lot else to be working on. I'm going to go through to the final tri-monthly period which is may june july so into the end of spring and the early part of uh, the summer and again very weak signals all we can say is that scandinavia again looking a little bit unsettled looks like we've got the azores high ridging it's drier than average to our southwest so this would imply there's possibly low pressure up here so the jet stream is possibly up to the north of europe going through there and maybe very very weak signal but maybe just enough to say that there's a ridge dominating from the azores into many central parts of Europe that can potentially be quite a hot pattern particularly for central and western parts of Europe so maybe just a few hints there from Metro France of a, a pretty warm or possibly even hot summer uh, this is the ECFWF then, so again, starting off with mean sea level pressure anomalies, uh, we find that for the uh, March, April, May, trimethyl period, spring 2019 has a ridge of high pressure to the west of the country, and we're bringing in the winds from a sort of westerly type direction, so we're blocking off the Atlantic, there's going to be quite a lot of dry weather uh, with that. Temperatures possibly a little bit down compared to where Metro France was because I think bringing in the winds more from the northern Atlantic on that kind of pack with high pressure to our west. But again, probably fairly warmish and dry, really, with the high pressure sitting to the west of us. So then we go through to the uh, next tri monthly period, which is. April, May, June, and again, this one has high pressure in the middle of the Atlantic and extending into the UK as well. Low pressure looks like it's up here, so the jet stream is pushed northwards. So for April, May, June, as we go into the latter part of the spring, the early part of the summer, the suggestion is that the Azores High is displaced north and it's ridging into the UK. That could be a pretty warm start to the summer. And then we go through to the final tri-monthly period for uh, May, June, July. Very weak signals then. We've lost that area of high pressure to our west, but there's no real low pressure either. There's just not really anything at all to go on from the EC uh, seasonal model um, this month for the May, June, July tri-monthly period. What about temperature anomalies? Well, this is the temperature anomaly for March, April, May from ECMWF. Notice it isn't as warm as Metro France. So it is still generally above average for many central, northern and western parts of Europe, but uh, only slightly for most areas in most yellow colours. And actually for the UK uh, and for Ireland too, we're coming out kind of like on the periphery of average to a little bit milder than average. Definitely not quite as warm for the spring with the ECM to get bottom. That, as compared to Metro France, but again, it's because that ridge is out to our west and we're bringing the wings in from more of the Atlantic, whereas Metro France had the ridge more towards our east and that will be bringing up winds from an east to southeasterly direction which will be a warmer direction especially get later into the spring uh the next temperature anomaly trimonthly period is for april 
May, June, and this one is generally looking uh, milder than average, again, for most parts of Northern Europe and Central Western Europe as well. So above average temperature anomalies as we end the spring going to start up summer. And then we go through to the final trimonthly period, which of course is May, June and July. Overall, looking milder than average again, particularly through central and northern parts of Europe. Scandinavia, milder than average. Central parts of Europe, milder than average. Out in the west, it's not quite as much. Generally, the ECMDF is a little bit cooler this month, I think, for the spring into the summer compared to Metro France. Metro France looked very warm, potentially hinting at a hot summer, I think, uh, with Metro France. Whereas the ECMDF is just toned that back quite a bit. And the signals are weak. It's nowhere near as convinced about a pattern that could set up to produce uh, a hot summer. Bear in mind, we're not talking about the full summer yet. We're just talking about uh, May, June and July. But certainly av more average type temperatures through the spring and into summer with ECM compared to uh, the Metro France seasonal model, which is uh, quite a lot warmer. Precipitation anomalies from the ECMWF for March, April and May. Again, very, very weak signals. Drive an average out to the west of the UK. That's indicating that area of high pressure sitting out to our west. So you'll presume that's going to be pretty dry because the jet stream is probably split. We've got some of the energy going off up there, some of the energy going down there, I would have thought. We've got this ridge sitting here and it would offer quite a lot of protection to those rain-bearing weather systems to the UK or from those rain bearing weather systems to the UK and so we'd expect quite a lot of dry weather I would have thought through the spring uh, with that kind of pattern. We go through to the next trimonthly period which is April, May, June and again very very close to average with precipitation, really weak signals. Uh, parts of Scandinavia looking a bit wetter than average so again possibly evidence of a jet stream going off up here, looks a little bit drier on average out to west southwest of the UK, but other than that, not much else to go on. The final tri-monthly period for precipitation is uh, May, June and July, and again, really weak signals, all we can say is that possibly we've got low pressure on the jet stream up here to the north of us going up there, which might imply that we have some sort of ridge developing uh, through central and uh, southern parts of Europe, which might bring up some hotter air from the south. But remember, the ECMDF is a lot more, a uh, lot more toned down about uh, the chances of a hot summer compared to Metro France. And then finally, we've got the DWD. So this is what uh, DWD, the German model, is uh, forecasting. So for March, April, May, rather a different pattern. It's still going through a little bit of northern blocking up towards Greenland and Iceland. We've got some high pressure up there with low pressure through the middle of the Atlantic. Jet stream going to be down here uh, as well. We're probably pulling in winds from an easterly direction uh, through the spring based on that uh, scenario. This is April, May, June's mean sea level pressure anomaly. Again, really weak signals. Nothing much to work on at all, either in the Atlantic or across uh, northern parts of Europe either. So very little to be seen there. And then this is uh, May, June and July. Again, quite weak signals. All we can say, we have got a bit of high pressure up towards Greenland and possibly in the northern latitudes. That's not normally a particularly good sign in the summer because if you get high pressure uh, up here... Uh, what tends to happen is that you'll get low pressure riding underneath it, going to that sort of uh, position. You can also get a trough uh, that sort of centres across central parts of Europe if you've got high pressure up here in the summer. And of course, a trough will pull down cool winds and uh, provide quite a bit of rain. But there's not enough to go on to suggest that's what's going to happen because it's only a very weak signal um, for some higher pressure towards Greenland and within the northern latitudes. And otherwise, there's very little else uh, to, to go on. Temperature anomalies from uh, DWD for uh, the spring, March, April, May. Just a little bit milder than average through these northern and western parts of Europe. Around half a degree or so above average, not a big uh, deviation. So it's not seen a particularly uh, mild spring at the moment. 
the temperature normally warms up a little bit as we go through to April, May, June. So those above average temperature anomalies become more widespread. And particularly across central parts of Europe, it starts to turn uh, really quite warm there with temperatures up to a degree uh, above average. Uh, and then we get through to the final trimonthly period, which takes us to... Uh, May uh, to May, June and July. Again, quite widely above average, but only a little bit so. So it's not going for a particularly hot summer. It's definitely the Metro France model that is going for, or hinting at the possibility anyway, of quite a hot early to mid summer. Remember, this doesn't cover, this update doesn't cover the full summer yet. We will have that next month, but at the moment, we're just going from May to July. Metro France is definitely the most bullish of the three. Uh, for hotter conditions as we go into the summer. The other two, yes, are a bit above average, but they're not particularly uh, hinting, I don't think. They're uh, not hinting at a particularly hot uh, summer. Finally, for precipitation from uh, DWD, so this is how the spring is looking. Uh, so we do see driving average conditions to our northwest. Again, hinting at some high pressure up here. Low pressure is going to be always wet to ever down here. Again, otherwise very little to be seen. But I would have thought this is quite a dry signal for the UK and for Ireland, to be honest. The jet stream is not in uh, a typical position, which is in this sort of position coming through the UK. Uh, the jet stream is likely to be down here, I would have thought, with a high pressure up there. So it implies quite a dry spring, just does it through a different way compared to ECMWF and uh, Metro France. Then we go through to April, May, June, tri-monthly period. Really weak signals for precipitation once again. It does look as though it's a little bit wetter across the northern Atlantic. So again, possibly implying jet streams going up there. Otherwise, really weak signals. And then the final tri-monthly period is going to be uh, May, June and July. And just perhaps a few hints that it's turning a bit more unsettled then. So uh, we've got northern, uh, northeast parts of Europe looking uh, wetter than average. It is also going a bit wetter than average out to the west of the UK. Uh, drier than average down towards Spain and Portugal. So possibly just a few hints that as it's, uh, we saw on the mean cell pressure anomaly, but up towards Greenland, which is off the chart, but Greenland is going to be up there. Just a few hints of high pressure towards Greenland, possibly forcing the jet stream uh, at South was a maybe a trough setting up somewhere around here uh, within the 500 millibar flow, which would produce unsettled and quite cool conditions potentially uh, if it occurs in the summer. But the signals are too weak uh, to be able to say much about that, uh, I think. So coming back to what we can say quite reliably, reliably is that most of these miles, or all of these miles are going for mild of an average temperature Anomalies. There's no sign of anything particularly cold. Um, it looks like the spring is going to be relatively mild and dry. That's definitely the signal across all of these miles, differing a little bit in how mild or how warm this spring could be. Um, but all going for above average temperatures and all relatively dry, even though they're differing about the exact scenario that produces those mild and dry conditions. You see what I mean? They are all sort of in the same ballpark with their temperature. Um, precipitation anomalies, or they, they're all trending in the same direction. They're just differing about how uh, about how warm the temperatures could get. Into the summer, Metro France is definitely the one uh, this month that is going for the chance of, uh, at least for the early part of the summer, anyway, it's the middle of the summer, uh, really quite hot conditions. The other two are much more conservative, um, although potentially there is uh, hints within the ECM in particular of something rather warmer through the early part of the summer. But uh, that's a very long way off and it all remains to be seen. Right, so that's it for your third video update for today. Uh, don't forget to check out Gaz over Sunny Round and those spring analogues. The spring analogues update will be placed on the spring updates forecast page with a written summary uh, later on uh, this evening. We may have Ensemble's Watch, so just keep a lookout on the social media accounts, see whether we're going to do Ensemble Watch this evening. Not sure if I'll have time for that or not. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.